So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be practicing our addition and subtraction of decimals. Y'all done that before, right? Okay. Have you done that? Okay. Okay. So let's pretend that it was your birthday last week. Does that sound good? And you got thirty dollars for your birthday. Sounds good, usually. Okay, so today after school, your grandma promised you that she would take you shopping so you could spend your birthday money. And you want to make sure that you keep up with how much money you've spent along the way so that you can um, have enough money to buy a candy bar at the, the register, okay? So you're each going to get a worksheet, and we're going to practice our addition and subtraction of decimals by feeling like we're going shopping. So it's up to you what you want to buy. You, all you know is that you have thirty dollars to spend, and you have all those items on your sheet to choose from. And if you need help, and I have also had scratch paper for you, if you need to work out your problems. So, if you, so just we're gonna. Our goal is just to get this go through these problems and answer worksheets, but. Um, you can use this pretend money if it will help you and add and subtract, okay? But what's one thing we need to remember before we start our problems? What's one important thing about adding and subtracting decimals? decimals? Put the decimals on. We line the decimals up. Exactly. That's a good idea. That's, that's very important, isn't it? So otherwise, our numbers are not going to be right. I'm going to get started, and as you start, I'm going to pass out some money for you to pretend with that... If you need to make change, mm -hmm. it'll help you make do your addition and subtraction problems. You can do that. Yes, ma'am. Um, do we like, like, do you want us to like underline the thing that we buy? Why don't you write them down? Um, I think it should tell you, like, number one, it says you pick out two items, what are they? So list them under number one. We only pick out two. For the first one. Okay. And each problem is going to work off of the other ones. So you're going to use the answer for the amount of money you get from number one to help you solve number two or number three. Okay? Okay. So, your first step is to pick out the first two items that you would like to buy. You get it? Okay. Now, Angela, can you tell us what two items you picked? Um, when do you go to, ch to jail and markers? Okay, so your total that you spent for the first two items was what? $17. Okay, so for the, between $17. those two items, you spent $17. Which means, how much did you have left after this? Thirteen dollars. Okay. Oh. So, can I? How much? What did you buy? What did you pick out for the first one? Color stuff and Jonas City. And you spent twenty-five, twenty-five dollars and forty-nine cent. Okay. And I got and how much? Four dollars and fifty-nine cent. Okay. And did y'all make sure you added up, you lined up your decimals right, and that you were making sure your place values were in the right in the right place in the right order. Uh, Jabari, what did you pick out? Markers and a pack of candy balls. Okay, so how much did those two cost together? Um, those two cost five dollars fifty four cents. Okay. And then once you, how much do you have left now? Twenty five fifty four. Okay. Jonathan, how about you? I bought uh bag Doritos and fish ball. For how much? Um, for total. Um, six dollars and sixty cents. So how much do you have left? Twenty-three dollars and forty cents. Alright, and I see y'all <laughs> y'all have all been working out your pearls and that looks good. What's wrong? It's okay. <laughs> I I like the way that y'all have lined up your decimals in your on your scratch sheet of paper where you did your work. And I like I just like to see that. Okay, let's do number three. You pick out another item and add that to your total. So which item are you going to pick now? And how much have you spent so far? Oh, snap. Okay. So, this is confusing. All right. You're going to pick out another item from this list. Okay. 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 Because two quarters is fifty cents and one half dollar is fifty cents. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna. All right, let's not focus on the money. Okay. Pick out another item. Write down what it is. 
and add that to the total that you've already spent and see how see how much money you have spent so far. You pick out another item and you add that to your total the item is how much you spent so far. So we add it to what it cost last time too. So what do we we're adding it to how much we have we've already spent. Show me which one's your number for how much you've already spent. How much have you spent? So much. So if you pick out another item and add it to your total, you're gonna add it to And that count we just want that too. What? No yes, yeah, you're gonna add it to that number. Because you that'll be keeping track of how much you've spent. And what I have left. That's the next problem. So just worry about how much you spent for this one. And then when you figure that out, you can move on to number Ooh, four, which is how much money, what your third item was that you bought. Okay, and what is your, what's your total that you had spent to that point for number three? So the Doritos are 290 so combined with the other two items you picked, what, what was your total? Okay, and you figured that out. How'd you figure that out? figured out how much do you have left to spend. How'd you do that? I Bank. Have thirty dollars in your hand. Okay. Get two fives. Get two fives. And I'm gonna take these because pretend like we haven't bought anything yet. Okay, so you have thirty dollars. Go back to problem number one. How much money did you spend? I spent $5.54. Okay. So you should have how much money left over? From your, what's your next thing? Number two. Yeah, $25.00. Okay, so I'm going to give you, how much is the change that I owe you? How much? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. you, five, you pay me five fifty four, don't you? So if you give me, how much did you need to give me? I gave you five dollars. No, yes, fifty six cents. Okay, listen, five dollars and fifty four cents is more than five dollars, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take. You're gonna give me ten dollars if you were paying for. Wow. That's what I'm trying to explain. If you were paying for that at the store and you bought something that cost five dollars and fifty-four cents, you couldn't just give them a five and say, "Here, that's all." Could you? Because that's you not. You owe me fifty-four cents. No, no, no. no. Okay, so you're going to give me ten, and I'm going to give you back four dollars and how much? Forty-six cents. I spent five dollars and fifty-four cents. Right. So I'm going to give you back. All right. Four dollars. Oh, I get you. Okay. 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 So now you have twenty-four dollars and twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, forty-six cents. So that should be what you want for number two, right? How is it forty-six? Because if you're yeah, fifty-four, yeah, fifty-four plus four fifty-six, that'll be too much. No, it wouldn't. Yes, look. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, yes, it would. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got $2.30 left. Is that how much you would have left? Yes. That's how much? No, that's how much it cost. Right, but, so, so, that's how much these two things cost. Yes. This is how much you had left to spend. So how much do you have left now? So I lost track to that.